Welcome back to another video. Here we have uh, Windows NT4 workstation, and it might be old or something. But I believe that there are so many people that will be interested in what we're gonna have do in this video. And what we're gonna have here is the installation and the setup of an FTP server on Windows NT4. Windows NT4 came maybe around 1995 and uh, some people still have some computers that are with such com uh, operating system so this video will help them set up an FTP server on their computers and such thing will help them also transfer data from uh, and to that computer which is running Windows NT4 for those who still like such stuff, retro stuff, can follow along you have nothing to lose if you watch so stand by first of all we will try to make this thing better the appearance because it's not good enough, we will try to make it the biggest possible I have here uh, yes, we will install Windows Uh, the service pack 6 okay that's by putting the CD I will include the link in the description because we will not be able to in the odd or install virtual box guest editions if we don't have the minimum thing Windows NT4 service pack 6 so we open this accept license agreement and install so this video also includes the installation of Windows NT4 Service Pack 6. It's an update. I guess it's the last, the last one, the latest for uh, Windows NT4, which is Service Pack 4. We restarted. By the t by the time we restarted, we put the edition. Yes, guest editions. So we capture enter press and enter to speed up the start process startup process or start maybe not start up for those who still do not use Windows NT4 they can use it in a virtual machine the installation is simple if you want me to make a video about it I will just tell me uh, what you will benefit from putting it is whenever you want a virtual machine that has some basic stuff this thing or this virtual machine although many functionalities from the plain other virtual machines like the ones that are running the new newer versions of Windows and Linux you will not have the, those functionalities here so we will install the guest editions these things you, you don't need to do them if you uh, don't run your Windows NT4 from a virtual machine let's reboot we're gonna see how the screen is gonna look better and we will be able to maximize this thing enter the old stuff the old versions of Windows for some people may sound like not worth it but they were something that so many people cannot forget I've seen many people that still uh, still consider these versions of Windows legendary for me I still like these things and I believe they are legendary who cannot who can forget the version Windows XP or Windows 7 Windows 7 is still uh, barely new we can say it's new but windows xp for me is one of the best versions for those also that let's change the color to this apply okay yes okay we will keep up with this setting start now we will go to the installation of the ftp server control panel 
and then uh, network yes next start search next standby yep next here we put the cd of the installation which is this one the install the cd of the installation that you use to install windows nt on a virtual machine or on your computer you put it right now so here we put let me check where it is exactly not this so it's on e so here it's e continue yep continue yes next next all right it's installed now so make sure you have the iso or the cd if you have a uh, hardware this thing also can be applied on hardware if you have that stuff make sure you have your cd or disk the hard, hard one hard copy if it is on the virtual machine don't remove the iso like this one i have it already here keep it remove it when you want to re reboot your computer otherwise it's going to take you to the installation again which you don't need <coughs> here i'm using windows nt4 workstation i guess for the server it's different and i will up upload the video about it soon it worked for me bef before this process and I was able to set up an FTP server FTP server is good here because if you want to set up a Samba server on your Windows NT it's quite old, the version is quite old and so many systems still are cannot support it anymore so it will, it will be useless to set it up let's log in again, ok ok so now we go again to network Ok, never mind it. Services. And then we put odd. We look for FTP. It's here. I guess. Yes, peer web server. I guess with protocols. services odd those micro microsoft peer i guess that's the one that we need we put back the cd which is windows nt4 in my case or the iso if you are running a virtual machine e in my case for you it can be anything you just need to make sure it's the correct one yes here we have the FTP service make sure this one is checked so my option is right I got a little confused I'm sorry for that so then you press enter ok yes never mind this one yes ok yes it's the confirmation of making those directories ok ok we install SQL Server, no, no problem. Okay, so here you, the, you get the message that the installation is successful. You press OK again. You close this. And then, to control your FTP server, just go to Settings. No, go, go to Programs, sorry. And then, Microsoft Peer Web Services. And then, Internet Service Manager. You come here. The FTP, it's running. We can check our IP address. It's supposed to be somewhere. It's supposed to be by using the CMD, which is here. The command is almost ev uh, the same everywhere. If you run this command on Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 10, or any Windows, it's going to help you see the IP address. It's 10.0.0.77 in my case. So there is an extra thing you need to do here, which is you press here service properties right click service properties sorry and then you come here you, you check the directories and then edit properties here you should you should uh, check mark or 
tick this one to make sure that you can uh, write to the directory of your FTP server here okay and then okay again let's now try to connect here you can see that I have 76 which is the first one I tried this thing and it worked for me it's supposed to work again that's what we hope I have the first installation I tried it here but I wanted to go with you step by step from zero so that one 76 is for this virtual machine and now 77 for this virtual machine which I recently or I installed it right now so we uh, this one we change instead of 76 we make it 77 enter this one you don't need to change anything make sure it's anonymous because uh, for FTP you need to know that it's not secure enough like the other connections we talked about SSHFS on this channel you, need, you can go back and check yourself uh, for FTP you can go and check the ways to make it more secure and Windows NT4 is not, you're not supposed to use it as a system as much as you can because it's old, outdated and more, more vulnerable to the risks and malicious uh, software so let's click connect we're connected let's try to copy something uh, this one copy and put it here let's hope it works yes it's working and then we go back to our system let me take you to the folder to prove to you that it was there. It's in inet pub ftp root and we have here aptoid latest which is the same file that I have copied here aptoid latest which is uh, an application on Android you can see dot apk at the end uh, it's not gonna we, you can use it to transfer files it's quite useful if you have a computer a node computer on your in at home you have an old computer at home or you want to set up a virtual machine for file transfer as a virtual machine the risk is less if it's broken and you set up an FTP server using Windows NT you don't need to worry about the resources you can have a weak computer you set up a virtual machine it's gonna work with uh, the least or we don't need to worry so much let's say it has two gigabytes of RAM or four gigabytes of RAM and you want to set up a virtual machine Windows NT4 is a good option especially if you want to transfer transfer data if you have also a computer an old computer retro computer that you're so proud of and you have the right to be proud of because those were some of the golden ages of computers just like me I, I, I would like to have such computer it's if I have one I will be happy to have one I will install Windows NT4 on it so for you if you have also an old computer and you connected it to the internet uh, sorry to your local area network and you want to transfer data you cannot set up Samba server unless all your computers are old, just like your Windows NT4. The most or the common, the most common way, the most common thing that still can be supported on your computer is an FTP server, and you are able to see almost all the steps that I showed you in this video, as well as the steps of installing Windows NT as a Windows NT4 SP6 and. Windows or VirtualBox guest editions on your Windows NT4 system. We got the screen better. I don't know, maybe we can improve it more. Let's change it to this. Until now, I guess it's clear. You've seen how we still can like move data between this and this really something really fun I do like it so much let's copy this for example put here paste we come here we make new uh, new bitmap or word but text document we write something here oh yeah yeah let's write something good for you subscribe share like comment that's what you're supposed to do right to promote me for these videos 
Don't forget to do these, th these things. Even if you face any problem, don't hesitate to tell me. We close it, save yes. Let's open it on our system. Open with Luma. No, not this one. <laughs> Sorry. Let's refresh. Yes, it didn't appear, so we sometimes we need to refresh. Uh, Luma, subscribe, share, like, comment. Thank you for watching. I hope I see you soon.